Hey guys, I recently bought this uh, uh, spindle uh, dial indicator mount uh, to put on my uh, Harbor Freight machine, but there's not enough room up here to, uh, to properly mount it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to uh, um, either modify this or something. And what this is... This is the uh, end spindle cover or cap or whatever you want to call it. And it keeps chips out of the bearings up there. And it also holds grease. I've removed the grease. And it has uh, two set set screws. Uh, one of them goes in here to, to make sure it doesn't fall off. So uh, I'll have to do that in order to make sure that this uh, fits up here properly right there and as you can see I've got plenty of room so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, modify this cap to fit up there and, and I'll show you guys how I do it okay this is how the spindle uh, indicator thing sits as you can see it's it's quite short or the spindle doesn't come down far enough so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut some off of this and make this go a little bit higher so it'll go up further because that's just not enough to be uh, really effective so, anyways let's get to it okay i've measured the uh, uh thickness of the spindle mount for it and it's just under uh 500 thousands right here so I'm going to have to go and figure out what the space is up here. And I'll figure that out and let you know. Okay, I've got the uh, dial indicator depth section up there. And this is what she's measuring right here. Let me just bring it down here. So that's what she's measuring. So uh, we're about 242. I'll have to compare that with how much I can cut off of the uh, the actual spindle cap. Here's the uh, dimensions for the spindle cover on the Harbor Freight machine. Uh, gone over them pretty good. I'm pretty sure they're accurate. So uh, just in case you have to build one or you want to modify one or you don't have one, uh, there's the dimensions. Uh, it's just a side cutaway view. On the top you see like the little plate up there. That's a bevel around the whole thing. There's only two holes. They're 180 degrees apart at uh, 200 thousandths down from the top. Okay, what I did is I uh, took 100 thousandths off of here, took 100 thousandths off the top, and I took 100 thousandths off the inside so that it would sit up here and uh, Basically, I just uh, put it in here first, turned it down, turned it down, and then I uh, turned it around, and I uh, turned the inside, and then turned the outside, and then I just cleaned it up, and I just used a, uh, just a, like an internal borer, and it seemed to work pretty good, so I'll, uh, Go ahead and show you what I did. I didn't do these yet, but uh, I'll, I can set them off. So uh, let me get this up there, and, and then I'll show you how how the uh, the dial indicator mount uh, works. Well, I got it to fit, and what I did is I took a hundred thousandths off the top, a hundred thousandths off the inside, the step on the inside, and then a hundred thousandths here. So that means that it sits a hundred thousandths closer to the head and then with uh, taking a hundred thousandths off the bottom that gave me two hundred thousandths. I needed five hundred thousandths and I was at uh, hundred ninety six thousandths. So that's good enough. I mean that that's more than doable. You can see it's uh, pretty much straight across right here. So it is still hitting it pretty good and I could change this. I could uh, probably uh, take this plastic off and put a piece of brass. Uh, there is one thing I didn't like about this uh, particular item. Uh, it doesn't sit very well inside the hole here. So with it not sitting very well in the hole, 
uh, I get a little bit of play with the with it uh, side to side uh, going this way so what I'm going to do is I'll just build a collar for it and stick it in there and I'll probably drill this hole out a little bit more it's got a set screw in it so if I drill the hole out a little bit bigger and I put a collar in it and then slit the collar then this will sit pretty pretty good and these ones seem to be sitting fairly tight uh, thing one of the things I didn't like about this uh, particular item was uh, when you're using it sometimes it'll it like loosens up like now it's loose so it doesn't slip very well but uh, overall I, I think it's more than doable uh, with the exception of this so once I get that done it'll be be taken care of I didn't move the set screws down I still have to do that but uh, overall it, it still sits in there fairly well and if it does start to slide down too far uh, there is some tension on it and there's a uh, uh, detent hole right there that it would catch but I'll, I'll eventually just go ahead and I'll move the holes here or somewhere you know and I'll, I'll re-put them in there I'll just leave the old ones in it. it's no big deal but uh, I wanted to show you that uh, I got the thing uh, got the thing sitting pretty good I mean it spins and everything no problem it grabs that spindle just fine and works so there we go